Well, hey everybody, uh, we're getting ready to do another video here. We're going to be doing some snow removal and they're saying we're going to get about two feet of snow. So we uh, dug out the snow blower because we know that uh, we're going to have a lot of snow to move and this helps us uh, eliminate piles. So we got the snow blower mounted up on the tractor and ready to go, but I'm going to do something different that I've never tried with this blower. Um, let me show you this right here. This little guy right here. That is the skid shoe that comes from the factory on this blower, and they're small. They're designed to go over concrete and asphalt. But where we live, we don't have concrete. We don't have asphalt. We've got gravel and there's mud when the roads get really wet and sloppy like in these spring storms. So <clears throat> what I've done is I contacted a gentleman and he custom made some replacement skid shoes that I'm calling skid skis. So we're going to be using these skis. And don't mind Fred. He's our mascot. Um, yeah, we're going to be using these skis. And they're going to help keep the blower from sinking down into the mud. And if I come around here to the front, you can see I go all the way down. The blower is sitting about an inch off the ground. And I've got plenty of room to lower these things. I've got one, two, three, four more holes that I can go down. So I could set these skis about six inches down. And that would leave a good six inches of snow on the ground. And then I wouldn't be picking up rocks and dirt. But I'm going to start it out here at the lowest setting. And we'll see how it does. If it does pick up any rocks, then I'll just raise, uh, raise the blower up, lower those skis, and it'll lift it up higher off the ground. So we're going to give them a shot and see how they work. As I said, a gentleman custom made them for me. And that's the, that's the model number of the blower. If you look that up online, it weighs a good thousand pounds. But here's the guy that made me those skis, Todd Smith. He's got a, a metal fabrications uh, business. He lives in Frederick, Colorado, and I'll put his contact information in the uh, in the uh, description of this video so that you can contact him if you want him to make a set of these for you. I'm sure he could uh, talk to you about a custom design for your particular product, but I drove around with them on and they seem to do pretty well. So we'll see how it does tomorrow when we've got probably a foot and a half of snow by this time. And the roads will be wet and sloppy and muddy. And uh, we'll see if it's keeping this thing up out of the mud. So I'm not having to constantly raise and lower it. So see you outside here shortly blowing some snow.
so just a quick recap video we got all this area cleared out with the with the snow blower and uh it did a great job you can you can see about how much snow we got there we got a couple feet or so which is not atypical for this kind of for this time of year here in the rockies so we got the snow and just wanted to give a final recap on these skid skis uh they performed flawlessly this was a great investment. Um, you can see they did not bend at all. They held up great to the, to the force of being pushed into drifts and you name it. And they kept this snowblower about an inch or two up out of the gravel. They rode on the top. They packed a layer of snow down and rode on that top layer of snow. And they did beautifully. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. Say that five times fast. So... Highly recommend you get a pair. Um, these would probably work on something like a, uh, a snow pusher too. If it's got a vertical cutting edge if, and you've got gravel and dirt, you're likely gonna pick up gravel when you're using a snow pusher. But these oversized skid skis would keep it up out of the gravel. So highly recommended. Give Todd Smith a call or shoot him an email and let him know that you want a pair for your application. All right, we'll uh, see you all again.